Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, this is Thursday of Holy Week, but I just had something on my heart that I just uh, felt like I needed to share today. Not necessarily anything to do with Holy Week, but it comes from Matthew chapter 24, starting with verse number 36. It says, But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving, giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding in the, at the mill. One will be taken and the other left. Watch, therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. You know, if there's ever an illustration of things changing overnight it's that's what we're living in right now it's something we can all relate to right now because right now we are in the midst of this global pandemic we are shut in our house in our houses we are uh, forbidden to do most of the things that we have just always kind of taken for granted the things we're used to doing. Uh, who would have known from, from one week to the next that everything, almost everything, would be shut down? Uh, yeah, I just remember when, when things started to get shut down, when the NBA suspended its season, and, and when concerts were being canceled, and, and just all these things were happening, and then, of course, came the stay-at-home order for those of us in Ohio and many other states in, in our nation. Things changed almost in the blink of an eye. So we can attest today that, that things can change quickly without warning. It was talking about Noah and the flood here in Matthew chapter 24. In the days leading up to the flood, in the years leading up to the flood, people were just going on doing their, their daily business, doing the things that they have always done, the, the things that they were used to. Noah and his family were day in and day out building that ark. And yet all the other people were just doing their thing. Nobody knew until the floods came that it was actually going to happen. Nobody knew exactly what day it was going to happen. Nobody knew uh, much of anything about it. Except there was one family that was not surprised. They knew it was coming. They didn't know exactly what day. But they knew that the closer they got to finishing that ark, the closer the flood was coming also. And so they, they continued to, to build the ark and they, they saw the signs themselves because they were the ones building it. And just like Noah giving, being given the signs that it was getting close to being finished, we are given signs in God's holy word about what it's going to look like the closer it gets to the return of Jesus Christ as he comes back for his church. We can read uh, about end time stuff earlier in chapter 24 of Matthew, uh, but also uh, I, I think of 2 Timothy chapter 3. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, 
unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanders, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, and from such people turn away. We are given a list of what it's going to be like, what people are going to be like in the last days. And, and as we go through that list in 2 Timothy chapter 3, we can see that, that the world is so like this. We can find examples of every single one of those things. And as the, the day of Jesus' return gets closer, the more these things are going to happen the more people will become like that list we live in a time that, that people are just going about doing all their stuff and forgetting about what is truly most important and that is the the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we don't know exactly when he's coming back but we can be sure that time is getting closer because the signs are showing it. I mean, we can, we can look at more passages throughout Scripture that, that give us signs of what it's going to be like in the end days, and I'm not going to go through all those right now, but, but the time is getting closer. And I can also be sure of this, that if Jesus doesn't come back in our lifetime, that we will all die. That none of us know for sure the exact day or hour that we are going to leave this earth. So the point is, the point that, that he was making in Matthew 24 is to be ready. Make sure your soul is ready. Because we don't know when we will draw our last breath. But once we do, that's all. We have had our chance. If you are still living and breathing right now, you have a chance to make things right with your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we have to ask ourselves, and I will ask you, are you ready? Are you ready?